Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to be doing a new Birkin unboxing slash slating slash I don't know. Basically, I've already done the unboxing, and I forgot to do the whole intro, and I'm back here to finish the intro. So, without further ado, let's just jump into the unboxing. But wait, before we do, please, if you're new to my channel, then make sure you do not leave without hitting the subscribe button, so you never ever miss a video. I post up every Wednesday and Saturday, and we focus on luxury and fashion. Without further ado, let's just dive into the unboxing. This is a big one. This is a big boy. Let's do this. Yeah, that didn't work. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. It says thank you, and I say you're welcome. So here she is. Dun, dun, dun. I thought I ordered a small one, but clearly I didn't. Actually, this could be the perfect size. Wow. Oh, look at this. Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I'm actually just why am I liking this more than I should? I wasn't expected to like it. Oh, uh, no. Do you know what? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I was planning on slating the bag. <laughs> that was the plan. Slate the bag because another thing I couldn't understand the hype about. But I'm understanding the hype now that I have it in my hands. <gasps> I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I really like it. There's just something about the feeling of it. It feels so nice. I'm sorry about the hair. I look like a school kid with like a side ponytail. It's not. I promise it's in the middle. It feels really, really nice. Like it feels luxurious. I love the feeling of it. It's a oh, beautiful feeling bag. And now, okay. Okay, guys. I genuinely was not expecting to like this bag. Like at all, at all. At all. And no, I don't understand when people are like, Oh my gosh, you know, it's the next Birkin because this is a Birkin and this is a Margot bag and um, they're not the same. I would compare this to maybe the, why do I keep thinking about the garden party? No, not the garden party, the, oh, what's going wrong? I'm forgetting all my bags. But on the inside, you have a pocket over here. So you can put your phone in. Let's test it out, if I can actually put my phone in. This is the iPhone Pro Max, so I doubt it will fit, but if it does, then ew, no, no, sorry. Don't doubt anything with this bag, because the iPhone Pro Max, which is the biggest iPhone, guys, fits in the pocket holder right there already. Love that. Okay, that is one plus for this, minus one for the Birkin. You have a pocket right over here, which I don't know, I guess if you were traveling you could put your passport in there. Shall we test it out? Let's test it out. A passport and does it fit? Of course it fits! Nicely right in there so you don't have to faff around for it. And then on this side you have a pocket. You know what? Whenever anyone says it's the new Birkin, I'm like, I'm intrigued. I need to see this. The last time it was the pocket from Laura Piana, and that was like very underwhelming when I unboxed it. I was like, what is going on here? I do not understand how this is the new Mini Kelly, why everyone's raving about it, why it was even sold out. And I still don't understand till this day. This, however, I'm understanding. It's a very, very simple bag, don't get me wrong, but it is very, very, very beautifully made. Smaller sizes do have a strap, non-adjustable, FYI. So if you did want to go for the smaller sizes, just bear that in mind if you are a shorter person, because where it sits on your body, the strap might be a little bit too long. The bigger ones don't come with a strap, and I personally love this bag in the bigger sizes. Yeah, this is the perfect big bag. <laughs> Underneath you have five. Ow! My toe! Ooh! Sugar! Ow! Okay, that's one negative about the bag. It's an open toad, and if you turn it upside down, things will drop out and land on your toes and make you feel like you just broke your toe. I tell you what, I don't realize how heavy that phone is, but boy oh boy, it dropping on your toe. My poor toe is actually bruised, it's, it's swollen. <laughs> I want to cry, but I don't want to cry right now because you guys have seen me crying enough. <laughs> Let's move on to the bag, first in the bag. <laughs> okay, so, um, as we were saying, what was I saying? There's two, no, sorry, there's five feet at the bottom, which obviously, you know, when you put your bag down, it's great. I get the hype. 
I really do. It's a beautiful bag and my toe's killing me. It is very, very simple, but I think if you're buying this bag, then you like simple things. You must like simple things. Very, very understated, very, very quiet. No one's gonna know what brand this is from unless they know. And although it is blowing up on social media, we need to remember not everyone follows the same things on social media. So although we might be seeing this on our pages because we love fashion, we love all this, handbag stuff we need to remember that not everyone follows that and in the world not a lot of people are gonna have this bag but i think i want it in dark brown the suede the suede oh, that beautiful suede i love this color don't get me wrong but brown what do you guys think brown brown dark brown the suede mm. in the middle which i've got nothing in here that can hurt me do i <laughs> these you've got like a little closure there which you just pop through and there you go, like so, and it just gives a little bit, a little bit more of security inside the bag, like so. I don't have anything bad to say about it, apart from the fact that things can fall, <laughs> fall out of it <laughs> if you turn it upside down. This is in the size 17. I am five foot four, so this is how big the bag looks on me. I think I can fit my bag in 25 in here. Let's see, let's see. Yes, I can, yes, I can. Look at that. A bag in 25 fits perfectly in here, which means I can use this bag for travel because whenever I carry my bags at the airport, when I take any Birkins or Kellys or anything like that, I always put them in a bag that I carry with me, usually my grooming bag. And I keep them in like this. And then I put my mini Kelly inside this one and we have three bags in one. So the bag is glued to my shoulder like this because there is no way I'm putting this on my suitcase and risking someone snatching it and running off. It's because of the softness as well. Like, look how cool you look. I feel so cool. Ah! <laughs> It's such a beautiful bag. The weight of it. Now, this is where I think it might and could possibly be a problem because it's not particularly really heavy, but I can see this becoming a very heavy bag. Also, an issue which I can see when I'm putting it on. I'm just wearing a cardigan, so I can get it on my shoulder. But if you're wearing a jacket or anything like that, then it will be quite difficult to get the shoulder part over your actual shoulder. The only branding on the bag, which I saw earlier, is at the bottom, right over there. As you guys can see, it says the row. And then on the inside of the bag, you have a light silver embossed the row. Made in Italy. Yes, just like me. <laughs> and this, I just love, I love the slouchiness. That's what it is. It's a very slouchy bag. All my simple gals, you will love this bag. Believe me. Believe me. If you are someone who does not like slouch, this is not a bag for you, okay? This isn't gonna be one of those bags that's gonna stay structured or like, look at that. Just straight away, they, they, there you go. <laughs> How much was it, 4,000? Let me double check on my phone. 4,720. The suede one, which I'm obsessed with, that was sold out and is currently, no, 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 it's still sold out. <laughs> it back in that one is 4630 i mean considering that a t-shirt is 500 pounds just over 500 pounds i don't think it's too bad <laughs> it's not so 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 bad it could be worse i don't have anything bad to say if you want to buy one then buy one i'm i'm not gonna say don't buy one because i love it i really really do like it i just want a dark color one of the main reasons why i'm in love with this bag now is because of the fact that the minute you take it out it's already got that softness to it. You don't have to use it to get it to this point. It's already like that from the moment you take it out the box. And I really do appreciate that because sometimes you just want that slouchy bag, that very relaxed, casual, simple, yet beautiful bag. I wanna see what it looks like if I undo these buckles actually, let's see. Oh, wait, wait, you've got two, you've got another hole. So you've got two options. To extend it, you could put it on the last one, which is what it was on. That's what it looks like when you put it on that one. Or you could just leave it opened and that will become the new style. Just leaving it open like that. It makes you look less prim and proper, do you know? And then when you open it, it opens up even wider. Ah, oh, I love this bag. The inside, sadly, is not lined in leather, but to be honest, most bags are never lined in leather from Hermes. This color! 
water is dangerous because any dirt that you're gonna get in there, you're gonna see straight away. There's no hiding that. You know, that cream, is it herringbone? Yes, that cream herringbone interior is just waiting to get its first stain. So that's a little bit of a mm, 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 not too happy about that. I'm gonna love and leave you and I'm going to tend to my poor little toe because <laughs> I've just ignored it and it's just been sitting here throbbing in pain and I'm like, yeah, let's carry on, the show must go on. <laughs> Thank you so, so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you think this is an overhyped bag, which I have just overly overhyped to you if you think it is an overhyped bag. If you like simplicity, if you are someone who loves quiet luxury, as they say, then this is definitely going to be a bag that appeals to you. Any other questions you guys have please let me know in the comments down below and yeah have a beautiful rest of the weekend and a beautiful start to the week i'll see you in wednesday's video take care bye really look at this i know put my hand there i'll pretend i'm just praying let's go come on, come on babe, babe. i got a new handbag okay and i want to show you it okay it's, it's all right really it's quite big but it's nice no yeah this is all right do you like it yeah is this right good yeah yeah you have nothing bad to say about it no i don't mind it seems very practical <laughs> yeah, that's a bag well done price might put me off afterwards who's it by the row oh they're really going for the hermes look aren't they it does look like an hermes bag completely copy in it as well look even with the printing on the inside no so. that's most bags is it yeah yeah no, but that's a clean print. The way they've done that, it's almost like it's, like. No, it's because it's pebbled. The leather's pebbled. Okay. How much is it? How much yes. do you think? Okay, I'm let's, gonna guess. Let's do this game. Two hundred pounds. Three hundred pounds. Oh, let's be realistic now. I don't even want to play this game anymore. It's, it's the same video every single time, and it just looks sad. How much do you think? I genuinely thought two three hundred pounds. I thought it's a bargain bag. It's not a bargain. Feel it. It feels luxurious. Feel it. It does feel good. <laughs> <laughs> this was lovely. So the question is, Hermes sells for nine thousand pounds, right? So why is this one eighteen hundred? It's not eighteen hundred. How much is it? It's half the price. Oh my god, nine hundred pounds! No. Half the price of nine hundred. No, Obviously. half the price of the nine thousand Hermes bag. One half thousand pounds. Yeah. That is. I uh, wonder. I aspire to be like you and have your kind of money, man. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Here's the million dollar question, right? So oh. you know, this bag is about now probably, yeah. shall we say 8,000? Yeah. If you had to pick one. Yeah. Resale value, I'll pick that one. <laughs> That's what I pick. Okay, okay, okay. No okay. resale value. No resale value. That one obviously is cheaper and you get more bag. But looks wise. Looks wise, they're both as good and bad as each other. <laughs> so it's probably a little bit nicer, I like the sparkles. That's more classic, this is black. That's too big, that's a mum bag. I want this right. one but in suede, but it's sold out. I want a refund. <laughs> but that's sold out as well, apparently. Right, I'm going to go downstairs. <laughs>